I'm pushing the limits today. I, uh, I'm trying something different, a more aggressive firing schedule for my bisque firing. It's the third one in my new uh, flat pack kiln. It's a ceramic fiber kiln. And what I did, um, I've got some pieces that because of time constraints I need to do a raku firing on tomorrow. I built these pieces the day before yesterday and I was worried about getting them dried out enough so I put them in the kitchen oven at 170 degrees, left them there for about six hours. I had no cracking. There, It's raku clay and white stoneware clay on the various pieces that I have. I had no cracking and then last night I preheated them again uh, slowly ramped them up from 170 degrees up to 345 degrees this morning I set the kiln up, put them in and started uh, cooking I um, was trying to hit 100 degrees centigrade, 212 degrees Fahrenheit an hour which I came pretty close to up until I got up to about 1290, 1300 degrees and then uh, I let it sit there for a while and then I just kicked it into gear and um, gosh I've been going for four hours and 23 minutes now I haven't heard any popping coming out of the kiln that's a good sign and I'm at 1823 1800, degrees so uh, getting pretty close to having this finished I'm going to take it up uh, to 1900 degrees the rate of climb has slowed down in the last the last few minutes but um, once I hit 1290 1300 degrees I just kind of cranked it up and let it go and um, like I said it's a very aggressive firing schedule it's looking orange hot in there Try to do this bisque firing up to about a cone 06, maybe a cone 05, we'll see. Since I'm raising the temp so fast, I might take it up to 1900 degrees again. That has worked for me pretty well the last couple of times. 1816 now. And it'll be four and a half hours and another six minutes here that we've been cooking this thing, so. Hopefully the firing will be done in a five hour period of time and uh, from date of construction till final bisque firing, a two day time period will have elapsed. You know there's one other thing that I wanted to comment on here. Uh, typically people will leave the kiln closed until the next day at least let it cool down below 200 degrees Fahrenheit before opening it but I'm questioning the logic in that because what I'm firing in this kiln is raku clay and white stoneware clay and I use them both for raku firing and when I raku fire I'm going to bring it up to the approximately the same temperature it is now so my thinking is what difference does it make whether or not I cool it down from the bisque firing rapidly or cool it down from the raku firing rapidly. If the clay is going to hold together, it should hold together regardless. So when I finish firing today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open the kiln. Let it cool down quickly. There's a reason for this, and the reason is that tomorrow I want to raku fire this, so tonight I want to be able to glaze it. And... Uh, to be able to glaze it, it's got to be cool enough to handle. So I'm going to rapidly cool this firing. Again, it violates conventional wisdom, but hey, it's not like I've got any priceless masterpieces in there. It's, it's just an experiment, and uh, we'll see how it works. I'll update later. Well, the temperature actually did get up to 1,880 degrees. The wind is playing tricks with me it's dropped a little bit now but this is definitely a cone 06 maybe a cone 05 and a half you can see the red glow from down inside there and the 
see the burner. It's mighty hot. It's time to shut this thing off. I wanted to take it up to the same temperature as my previous firings. I'm doing a composite piece. And I want the clay shrinkage after bisque firing to be roughly equivalent on all of them. And that's part of the reason I've taken it this high. I'm going to shut this thing off. In fact, let's just do that now. Check One final check of the temperature. 1878. Definitely in the cone 06, maybe cone 05 and a half range. these things up. Close that one up. There goes the flame. Take my windshield down. And rather than seal this thing up, I'm going to do the opposite thing. I'm going to open this thing up. If I can grab the handle, which a little bit hot. Let some air vent out there. It's going to cool more slowly than a typical Raku firing would. Whew, I can feel that heat coming out of there. Well, you can see I've got the lid off the kiln. It's been about 25 minutes since I uh, shut the burner off. Everything inside is looking good. I can still see heat waves rising off the thing. Fortunately, my iPhone camera came back on after it got overheated from having it held so close. Temperature inside dropped below 500 now. So the rapid cooling apparently is not affecting the wear that much. You can see my little dog food bowls, my tile rack in there, my little tiles that I'm working on. Uh, I'm going to give it a few more minutes and take one of the sides off this thing and see if that will cool it down even faster. But I am uh, really happy with the way this thing went. Yeah, it's about an hour later, 143 degrees inside the kiln. And uh, I can reach in and that's a little bit warm. A little bit warm to touch with the naked hand, so I'm going to put some gloves on, but it's not scorching hot. Let's see here. Yeah, too hot to pick up though. All right, let's try this again. I got my Kevlar gloves on, so I can do this now. dog food bowls here. Oh. Everything looks good with the bisque firing. And all I got left is some tiles to pick up.